Today we are going to cook a Persian Hanukkah treat. It's called shami and it is a mashed potato and ground beef latka. We're going to make those together right now. So let's get started. It's Dora from FlippingHousesAndPancakes.com and I thought today that we would cook together one delicious recipe. Its name is Shami. Shami is a potato and meat latka that the Persian Jews make and uh, I got this from my husband's family. So hopefully you're going to really enjoy it. We're going to start with either two large russet potatoes or I have these golden potatoes I peeled four of them because they're not so big. So we're going to peel the potatoes, we're going to dice them up, uh, and we're going to get ready to boil them because this recipe calls for boiled potatoes instead of shredded potatoes. Now there is another Persian recipe um, with similar ingredients but you use shredded potato and that is called cutlet. That's not what I'm making today. Today I'm making shami. It is a mashed potato and ground beef recipe and my kids really enjoy it so we're going to dice up the potatoes into smaller pieces they're already peeled and that's going to help us boil them faster because we're going to boil them and we're going to mash them so get all of our boiled uh, all of our potatoes into the pot Trying to stick to my knife. Okay, okay. There we go. We'll get these potatoes in. Like I said, two big rusted potatoes, or in this case, we are using four kind of, you know, fits in the palm of your hand, uh, golden potatoes. Okay. And we're going to, once I get all my potatoes into the pot, Okay, I'm going to fill my pot with water just above the potatoes, and I'm going to add some salt. We want it to be nice salted water, so a teaspoon of salt, something like that. I'm going to put it on my, on my stove, and I'm going to bring it up to a boil and let it cook until the potatoes are nice and soft. I'm going to do that right now, and when we come back, the potatoes will be soft, and we'll do the rest of the recipe. The potatoes are boiling pretty soon. They'll be nice and soft. All right. The potatoes are nice and soft, and I drained them. I just got rid of the, the water that was in there. I'm going to use my masher. I'm just going to mash them up um, right here in this pot. You could transfer it into another bowl if you're going to use the pot for something else. But I'm just going to use this potato masher here, and we're going to just smush it up until it's nice and evenly, evenly mushed. Look at the steam coming off of this getting a facial at the same time. Um, so we're going to mush up all the potatoes. <laughs> we want it nice and evenly smashed because um, we're going to be mixing a bunch of stuff into these. Okay. It looks pretty good. Let's see if those look, look pretty nicely smashed. So I'm going to stop smashing the potatoes and we're going to put the rest of our ingredients in. Okay, the first thing we need is onion. This is a pretty big onion. <laughs> I don't know if I need this much onion. Um, I got these giant ones from Costco and it's like really big. But you know what? We're gonna do it. I'm gonna put one onion. We're gonna chop it pretty small. So I'm gonna do a pretty small dice in this onion. And actually, this onion was so large that I really only need, <laughs> I really only need half of it. So we're just gonna put the half of that giant onion in, but a regular yellow onion is going to be perfect for this dish. So one regular sized yellow onion right into the potatoes. Okay. The next ingredient we need is a pound of ground beef. I'm using extra lean ground beef because that's what I prefer, but you could use your regular ground beef, you know, 80, 20 mix. That's also fine. Got my pound of ground beef in here. Okay. I'm going to add two eggs. I already cracked them and checked them. So I'm going to add the two eggs to this. 
And then we have some spices. Now I'm putting in two tablespoons of flour just to help with the binding. I've also got a teaspoon of cumin, one and a half, no, a half of a tablespoon of turmeric. It's going to give it that really nice yellow Persian -y color and a half a tablespoon of salt. I'm going to add those in right into my bowl. Everything's going to be in there. I'm actually going to mix this all up. Let me move some stuff so we can do this. I'm going to mix it all up because I'm going to have gloves on that are going to be covered in ground beef mixture. Um, I'm going to prep my can first. I took, we could fry these on a stove top. It's, <coughs> it's right before. I'm still getting over some of my bronchitis. Okay, um, we could definitely fry this on the stove top and pan. 100% you could do that. I have a lot happening today. It is Arab Shabbos, so, so much to do. And I really don't want to wash more pots and pans than I need to. And I don't want to stand in front of the stove for longer than I need to. So what I did was I prepared a sheet pan. Um, I covered it in foil. Um, I sprayed it with some cooking spray and I'm adding a very decent amount of oil because remember it's like we're frying so I'm adding a good amount of oil think like half a cup like a good amount of oil obviously did not just measure that um, and again you're going to use um, an oil that doesn't have a lot of flavor you could use olive oil if you really want um, I wouldn't uh, that's okay all right so we've got lots of nice oil on this pan and um, we're going to mix up our mixture now and get it ready. So I'm going to put my gloves on. Okay. And if you want, you could even heat the oil before you drop your latkes in. But for today, I'm not doing that. All right. So we have all of our ingredients in here. We've got the hot potatoes. We've got the onions and the meat. And I am just going to combine all of it. Whew, those are hot potatoes. I'm gonna smoosh it all together. If you wanna use a spoon to start with, you can, but I feel like it's always good to just get your hands in there and get them dirty or, you know, use a glove so they don't get that dirty. Oh, okay. You could also let the potatoes cool a little longer, but like I said, I have too much to do today, so I'm not letting them cool too much. So here we go, we're gonna get this all mixed up nicely. Oh yeah, this, it's gonna look like weird mashed potatoes. Um, obviously weird, don't eat it. It has raw beef, <laughs> has raw meat in it and raw eggs. Don't, don't eat it straight up. Okay, make sure your oven is on. You want it to be at 400 degrees. Um, just make sure it's evenly mixed in. Got some ground beef in the hole. All that mixture. Let me show you what it looks like. So you see, we've got the ground beef and the onions, the potatoes, and all that seasoning, the eggs, of course. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take up, my glove keeps trying to come off. Okay, I'm just going to grab like a blob, a nice blob, it's maybe like a plum size, and I'm just going to pat it down and make almost like a burger, almost like a burger looking patty. I know some people like to make them in like an oval shape. Nobody in my house cares what shape it is. So I make it more like a burger shape. Okay, so you're gonna take just about a plum sized amount, kind of roll it up, smush it together, flatten it, and put it right on your sheet pad. Okay, I'm gonna finish prepping these and then we're gonna put them in my 400 degree oven. And we'll check on them in a little bit. oven it looks delicious it smells delicious the oven did most of the work for me um, and <laughs> you don't have to do it that way you could do it stovetop but I chose to do it in the oven today 
this is a de delicious recipe for you to try. Hanukkah is a perfect time to try new, fun, oil fried recipes. And this is definitely one of them. Try this Persian shami recipe for a nice meat filled potato latka. And of course, if you enjoyed cooking this, let me know if you make it and if you enjoy this recipe. And also, um, like put that in the comments below. And if you enjoyed cooking this or watching this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications so you find out every time I upload a new video. And of course, check out my website, flippinghousesandpancakes.com.